49ers at the Seahawks. We have been looking toward this four game stretch. I know I have for a while. We talked a lot about it in the locker room because just how quick it comes. Um, everything's so important as soon as this ends, what we got to do to get ready for this quick turnaround, which is always a challenge and tough, but really glad we're going to get three days off after it for the stretch. We're at that point of the season where, you know, obviously every single game is, is crucial. It's huge. And so going into a hostile environment in Seattle, the great team that they have, it's going to be a great challenge for us and we're excited about it. Our singular focus right now is on the Seattle Seahawks, which is going to be a great test. It's a great opportunity for us and to try to go get another win. It will be difficult and a short turnaround, traveling, all those things. But this is why you play, to take on these challenges. When you play this team, who do you game plan for? Who do you come in saying, hey, if we stop this one guy, you know, if you stop McCaffrey, Ayuk has a big game, Kittle has a big game. Debo Samuel now goes in the backfield. So with so many weapons at their disposal, it's so hard to stop. And I think they now feel like, hey, we need to have a one game mindset, come out, execute, destroy who's in front of us and worry about whoever's coming next after we win this game. I like where we are. I like where we are and what we've done uh, with coverage wise and system wise. We give them a lot of credit and have a lot of respect for them, but I feel like we're much farther along than we were. We got some great opponents coming up, but none bigger than Thursday night in, in Seattle. Obviously, it's a short week, short turnaround, so for us, it's just about dialing everything in as quickly as possible, getting your body, mind back and refreshed, and just treating it like another week of football. They got no wiggle room if they want to get home field advantage, so they can't fall asleep at the wheel, that's for sure. We got to go take it. We got to go earn it every single game. It doesn't matter who we're playing. It's the NFL. Anything can happen on any Sunday. However, right, we got to do it. We got to go on the road and win in the hostile environment. Don't go tight. Yeah, hey, so. We the big dogs in the fight. Yeah. They got to see that. Yeah. They got to feel that yeah. every single play. Let's bring that to these boys today. Let's go. Do it in three, one, two, three. Yeah, man. Man. Right yeah. What's up? Ooh. Happy Thanksgiving, one and all. Welcome to Lumen Field, downtown Seattle, Washington, the annual battle in Seattle. But this one's different. It comes on Thanksgiving night. This is a big, big game, and it's a division game. There's a lot on the line. It's in front of the whole nation. It's a great crowd. It's a great atmosphere. Pete Carroll will have his team ready to go. And conversely, I promise you, Shanahan offensively and Steve Wilkes on defense will get the most out of their players tonight. It's going to be a fun game to watch. This Tiger was consistent. We're violent. We're aggressive. Go make a play, boys. Nope. Touch the three on the three. Right. Everybody fly around. Let you play how go play up. Story on your range. That's on tonight. This game for the division lead in the NFC West and a great rivalry, Chris, the last decade and a half. So the Niners start 5-0, and then they lose three in a row. Now they've won back-to-back -back games. And you know who we're talking about again? The guy who wasn't even their quarterback this time last year, <laughs> Brock Purdy. So many stars on this San Francisco team, right? And they have a quarterback who is the last pick in the draft, and yet he is the top-rated quarterback in the entire National Football League. He is the perfect Thanksgiving quarterback. John Madden would have loved this guy. This time of year to come out here, it can be wet, it can be damp, it is dry, but it's cool. Temperature hovering in the low 40s. Settle in for the last course of Thanksgiving 2023. On the move nicely to start. Back to McCaffrey again. He's used a lot, and that's why. So good in the open field. McCaffrey to the 17 yard line. So much of the San Francisco 49ers, you think about them going outside zone, but ever since Christian McCaffrey came to this team, he said, I don't know what it is, but I kind of like running between the tackles inside there and he just consistently makes big plays as teams overrun to the outside. Second and goal. Side give to Debo to the end zone. Samuel, opening drive, touchdown, San Francisco. These two players are interchangeable. They really are. Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey, it's a walk-in touchdown. CMC, an explosive 27 yard run on the Debo with a walk in. Here's the kickoff by Jake Moody. D. Eskridge will run back their kicks tonight. Far left 20, 25, 30, all the way to midfield. 
And he's going to get tripped up and saving a touchdown on the play is Darrell Luter Jr. Charbonnet's the running back against the injury to Kenneth Walker. Smith's throw to T.K. Metcalf is incomplete. Charvarius Ward over there on that long throw to the sideline. Third and nine. Niners pass rush, bringing five. Tito throws in the middle of traffic. Ward's hands on it again. It's incomplete. He almost had two. The Seahawks will attempt a field goal. Very close on two straight plays. Nothing out of the kickoff return. Nothing. Got to get this field goal for Jason Myers if you're a Seattle fan. This is from 51 into a little bit of breeze. And Myers knocks it through. Yo. Yes, sir. Yo. Hey, good. Hey, good. 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 Start from the 45. Debo going one way, Christian going that way. To the 29, a gain of 16. There's no way this should have been a lengthy gain at all. Right there, <laughs> there's he's surrounded, and he ends up picking up 15 yards. That is just a great athlete making a great play. Third and seven. Hawks bring in five. Thirty's throw is complete. Juwan Jennings not going to get there. Maybe he will. Oh. Three Seahawks were there. What a third effort. Good second effort by Jennings. There's one. Loop around two, three. There's four. And there's a first down. Kittle and Ayuk and Debo Samuel and McCaffrey. And Juwan Jennings continues to make more plays for this team. Really, this Seattle defense at a bit of a disadvantage with this short week. There's so many component parts to San Francisco's offense. Short week, tough to get ready. McCaffrey left side, powering to the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, you think of him as being a little scat back guy, but he is a ball of fire when you're trying to tackle him. Talking about yeah. Off to a big start. Meanwhile, Seattle has not picked up a yard yet on offense. They've had a pair of three and outs. First down 10. Here's a play action to Charbonnet. Gino throws the out. Call. Oh, he got Intercepted. It. Coming back the other way. The Niners take the ball back. What a play that was Ambry, by Ambry Thomas. The Ambry man can. He told me he was going to get one this week, and he undercuts that deep out route and just rips it away for the pick. He was the one they wanted to pick on tonight, and he picked back. They've had excellent field position, and have taken advantage of it. Purdy with Debo to his side, throw over the middle, wide open. Brandon Ayuk, first down Niners to Seattle's 35-yard line. Purdy in the gun, two by two, McCaffrey stays in the block. Purdy throws on right, caught for a first down by George Kittle. So far, San Francisco's offense is just doing whatever they want. Averaging almost 10 yards per play. What a start for this 49ers offense. McCaffrey slides left, toss to McCaffrey, coming left, stacked up, stays patient, squirts through, and takes it all the way down to the goal line. Touchdown! C-M-C, what a run that was! He is something. McCaffrey just refuses to go down. How many times this year have we seen him spin into the end zone Ball held high, two hands on it, and San Francisco is a juggernaut right now. In desperate need of a third down conversion. They're bringing those four now. Gino in trouble, and they got to him. Javon Hargrave, that's the guy they added before the season started, who Chris, you thought would be a huge pickup. 
and he has been so far. I mean, he is so lightning quick inside for a guy his size. Wow. I was expecting a good San Francisco 49ers team tonight, but this is something. Game meant so much to Seattle, you really expected their best, but I'm just not so sure when San Francisco has all the pieces together that they're not just better than teams that are pretty good. Kyle Shanahan just has the Seahawks head spinning right now. Tempo, anything to try to shake things up in the second half. And now Gino will take a shot downfield for DK. Metcalf broke it up by Jarvarius Ward. Jarvarius Ward's getting very close to a turkey leg here because he is having some night. So now third and a short four for the Hawks. Gino tracked down by Bosa off the edge. Nick Bosa gets in there. He leads the team now as he has seven sacks. Well, the one thing you know about the Seattle Seahawks is that they are a proud football team, and nobody wants to be embarrassed. And they'll come out fighting here. Purdy back, looks right, throws right off the hand, intercepted. Jordan Brooks coming back the other way. Touchdown, Seattle. Moving off the hand of Christian McCaffrey. Wow, all of a sudden, this is getting interesting. <laughs> Different game. It's coordinator Steve Wilkes looking for answers here. Uh, let's bring some heat. Geno Smith in some trouble trying to escape. Can't do it. Niners get to him for a big sack. Geno back. Time. Pressured. He gets sacked. Back inside the 20-yard line. Get in my belly. Eric Armstead. Great stop. Nice right. stop, everybody. Nice job, everybody. Nice job, boy. Nice job, right there. Three points. That's great job. Great job. You know who hasn't been much of a factor tonight? Brandon Ayuk. Yep. You know, and he's been their big threat down the field star player, but this has been a much grittier performance tonight with those guys inside. Purdy scans. There's Ayuk in the middle to the end zone. Touchdown. And there it is. They go up top. And Brandon Ayuk with a touchdown grab. Brock Purdy does what he's been doing when he needs a deadly accurate throw right between the numbers. I really just can't name a weakness on this San Francisco defense. And so shot here, and Lockett battling with Ward. Here goes the pressure. Dino's going to run inside there, trying to get the first out of the sneak. He's going to be marked short. He's going to bring up fourth down. Charbonnet couldn't get away from Bosa and Fred Warner. The 49ers will take over on downs. And the 49ers have now beaten Seattle for a fourth straight time. You're not going to see this team in 18 days back at Levi's on December the 10th after the trip to Philadelphia. Yeah, that's for, that's, for all, that's for you three right there. I'm just, I'm just here, I'm just here to get our chance. You know, we're here to support. Okay. Emotional support. That's us. I'm here to give you that. Go with the pumpkin. Nice. 
Thanksgiving table at home? Oh yeah, we came in with all my best friends, basically my family. Where else would I rather be than here at uh, Seattle's home field eating turkey legs on Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> and Christians, oh wow, come on in. We even have spaghetti and you're not hungry? Food is the last thing I want after a game. No carbs. Well, you have to pretend, you, you get the final word. Go Niners, we're going back to the crib on the dub. Let's get this break, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, congratulations. Happy Thanksgiving, game balls, turkey legs. Purdy got some of the cornbread he was looking for. There you go. The movable feast here. They enjoy <laughs> triumphantly, like running with the Olympic torch, <laughs> running with the turkey leg <laughs> on Thanksgiving. And now Kittle, he's taking the whole turkey. And he's running. He's running. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's got the whole bird. <laughs> he's on the move. Hey guys, hey guys, real quick, man, so you guys start having fun. All right, you guys know how big this one was, the work we put in. You guys, the short week, D, you guys didn't let him in the end zone once, man. Mooney, all right, Ambry, good. Awesome on the outside. Hey, six sacks today, six sacks as a group, man. Guys, you guys earned this, man. All right, there's been how many times in football where you can play on Thanksgiving, have three days off, have three days to think about what you did. All right, these three days go fast. All right, you guys have earned it. I right, want you guys to rest and stuff, but you guys know what's ahead of us. Y'all enjoy that three days, baby. We the best in the world. Let's go. Not as on three. One, two, three. Hey! hey, Faith. Click here to subscribe.